What's up guys? Welcome to your 181st Android tutorial for the new Boston. And we'll or 80, I'm sorry, 180th Android tutorial for the new Boston. What we're gonna do is set up our indices. So what we need to do, I created this little uh, kind of reference so we don't get too lost here. But uh, here's our square, and what we want to do is we want to create 12 triangles uh, because each surface, like the front surface of the square, we're gonna split it in half like this, so we have a triangle here and a triangle here. I just showed kind of a, a reference. So as you can see, that's how we're gonna build our our cube here. Um, I keep saying square for some reason. I don't know why, but we're building our cube here with all these different triangles, so there's gonna be 12. So let's just get going here. Uh, again, we have to remember how we set up our front face. Even though we didn't really use it in the last, um, the last time we built our triangle, I'm gonna show you why we want this front face. Just again, to save some uh, save some you know performance here so we're gonna go clockwise so let's just get started with our indices I'm gonna delete these and just kinda of create a new line here and let's just uh, develop this little chunk here first so again we're going clockwise so we're gonna start at point three then four then zero uh, to create that top triangle so three four and zero Oops, did I do that right? What am I what am I saying? Alright. Three, four, and then zero. That's gonna be our first uh, triangle. Again, that's going clockwise, that's what we want. And then let's create this reference here. So it'll be zero, four, and one. Again, that's clockwise as well. So zero, four, one and then let's give us some more space here and develop the last side of that chunk and that one's going to be three zero one again going clockwise so three uh, comma zero comma one and then we're just going to go to the next line so we know that we got that chunk done and uh, again let's just do this one here so we want the front again to be clockwise of this top half so we're just going to go three seven four And this is what I was talking about being tedious here. Um, I thought we could use triangle fans. That's why I kind of broke it up like that. But Android uh, doesn't support a function that I thought they did for OpenGL. But anyways, um, so we have this top surface done. And now uh, we want this back surface. So that will be 7, 4, 6. And that's that would be clockwise. So the front would be facing the inside of the triangle. So we actually want to go you know, the opposite direction. So it will be 7, six four and that'd be counterclockwise the way that we're looking at it but when we go to the back of the square it'll be you know clockwise so again we want to go in this direction so seven six four something like that and then uh, let's you know give us some more room to create the side again we just kind of have to think about which side we want uh, to be the front or facing the front that we can actually see so uh, again we're going to use these three points and we want to go clockwise so it'll be going in this direction so it'll be seven three and then six and then we're done with basically you know these two chunks here and we're just going to work with this one now so we're going to say again clockwise three one two And uh, <clears throat> for the bottom, so if we're laying on the ground looking at this, we want to go clockwise again. So that will be so that'll be one, six, and then two. And we're almost done, guys. Don't worry about it. And then uh, then we got to also do this surface over here. So we're gonna say so we're gonna say six, three, one. And as you notice, like it doesn't exactly matter which order we do the triangles. There's you know different combinations. They will still be clockwise for that specific triangle. But uh, you know you want to make sure we're going clockwise, and I'll show you why in a second. Um, and what what's our last one? We have to do this one over here. So uh, again, we're going to do one, four, five, and that's clockwise as well. So 
So we got that surface done, and then we want the bottom. So we're gonna go. So we're gonna go five, six, one. And if I messed up on some of these, I don't know if I am or not. I think they're clockwise. I'm just uh, really tired, so I might be wrong here. But uh, I'll show you that as an error, and while we're getting errors, if if I did mess up. And then just our last triangle here, finally, is uh, the four, five. Uh, six and that'd be clockwise in this direction, but we want to look at it from the back view. So we're gonna go six five four. All right, and we're pretty much done with our indices. Um, as you can see, it was kind of tedious. Um, sometimes you just have to do some boring, boring stuff. But uh, there's our twelve triangles to develop our cube. And I'll wrap this up in the next tutorial. Hope to see you guys then, and have a good one.